The Ram 7 still easily one of the best resurgence ARs in the game. And if you thought those nerfs were going to destroy it, you couldn't be more wrong. So let's hop in here. And I'm going to build out the 100% best Ram 7 setup for you guys to have. That's going to give you the least amount of recoil, the most amount of damage range. It's just going to be all around the greatest thing you guys can use. So if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, notifications turned on. And of course, let's get into it. So first thing here is going to be the muzzle category. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll on down here. And we're going to go use one of my favorite attachments for a long range gun. And that is the Casas Break Compensator. So this helps a lot with our horizontal recoil and our firing aiming stability. Uh, pretty much your firing aiming stability is like the overall stability your weapon has. That little, you know, shake that it will have when you're firing the gun. So this really does help with that because we're utilizing, of course, the Ram 7 Iron Sights. And for our recoil control, what this does is it helps us 18% on our horizontal recoil. So that makes it so that really all you have to worry about is the vertical recoil, which is very easy to be able to control, especially when rotational aim assist kicks in. And of course, you have other attachments on the gun. You just have to pull down ever so slightly to make this thing a laser beam. So we have that for our first attachment on there. Next up in the barrel section, there's kind of a debate on a few different things we to run on this. That's going to be either the XRK Core Mark 40 Heavy Barrel or what I actually prefer to run here, which is the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel. So this to me, so we can go over the stats of them, but pretty much we get a 22, 21 and 25 percent boost on our overall range capabilities. Pretty much that 29.3 meters is our minimum effective damage range. We're trying to extend that out as much as possible because that's our first damage profile, meaning that is the fastest TTK we got. So if we extend that out as much as possible, that means you're going to be taking people out quicker than, for instance, if you go over here to the XRK Core Mark Heavy, which only gives you a 12, 13, and 15%. But it also does give you recoil control benefits. So if you struggle with recoil control, I'd go for the XRK Core Mark Heavy. If you don't struggle with recoil control, the Cronin Head with Long is definitely going to be my choice and what I'm using within the gameplay. So that's what I got right there. Now in the underrail section, we go to pretty much one of my favorite ones right here, and it's saved because I use it so much. That is the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. So this is just such a banger attachment on a variety of different guns. Helps your gun kick control, aiming idle sway, horizontal recoil, and of course your firing aiming stability here. We get 11%, 8%, and all it does is it messes our vertical recoil about 4%, but I really don't notice that to keep it a stack with you guys. And it does of course have a 10% ADS uh, speed penalty, which is pretty standard for a grip that's gonna do a lot of recoil control things. And there's not really anything else better in here for you guys to run. I wouldn't really suggest that. So just go for the Bruin Heavy Support Grip and you'll be good to go. Now we're going down to that magazine. We're gonna go, of course, throw on the 60 round drum. I'm a 60 round mag kind of guy, so I'm just gonna go for that 60 anyways, but um, it is nice that we can use a gun pretty much unlike the Holger 556, which is an absolute heater of a gun and actually got a buff today uh, that, you know, this actually has a 60 round mag because that only has a 40. So that's kind of the only downside right there, but this has 60. So it's great for taking on trios and quads and stuff like that. So I'd always recommend this, no matter what mode you're playing, to go for the 60. And lastly, but definitely not least, we're going to go into that stock section and we're going to throw on the HVS 3.4 pad for gun kick control and recoil control. So we break out the stats here and this helps us out tremendously with a 20% for our recoil gun kick, horizontal is eight and our vertical is eight. So we have pretty much a ton of recoil control benefits for this build and you guys are going to be absolutely beaming and you'll see by the 30 plus kill gameplay that I got for you guys here today, there's an absolute clutch W that I want you guys to see because this was an absolute heater. Had a ton of fun. If you guys enjoyed this build, give it a like, subscribe, and hope you enjoy the gameplay. Sending that in. I actually do like this Bruin quite a bit. But I will gladly take that. A little bit more mobility. Requesting close air. Target's marked. Copy that. Phoenix 23 is on station. Strike inbound. I actually got some with that. I got two with that. Oh my god. Well, that's actually huge. I'll just go buy my guns right now. Actually, I'm probably just going to take myself straight up on over there. Dude, control is always so hot. I like dropping top priz because then I can at least get a few kills and ro rotate over, but... Hunt 
Hey, bro, you're not you're not getting rest. No, 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 no. Hey, that'd have been ridiculous if I just got blown up. Hear that? Bruh. Go kill. Mark on the rest of that squad on your tack map. Go get hunt. Hostile motor strike in the area. Damn. Alright, Phil, I'm trying to take you out, get that full. Marking the rest of them. Okay. Oh my god. I didn't even hear his ass. Oh, my in-game loadout's over there. Alright, we'll, we'll take the... We'll venture on down. My loot is basically chalked over control. I know, I, I saw him go up that way, but... Let's not do that. Got a ram, baby. Come on. Yo. I can't really tell where people are at. Is bro act? We're going nuts, fellas. Requesting recon flyover. Ooh, there's a good amount of people. I do that uh, to replenish my throwing knife, my stems. They all just down below. Yo, hey, let's, bro, come on.
There's so many people still around here. I'd be spending a lot of my time at control these last couple times I've dropped here. Or came over here. Got a good amount of kills. I kind of want to rotate a little bit somewhere else. Will I be able to? TBD. Enemy soldier. Kill confirmed, and we located the rest of them. You got gas moving in. Come here, big fella. If we're down here. They for real out here. Enemy destroyed. Use your attack map to hunt down the rest of them. Fire sales over. Adjusting prices. Just confirmed and we located the rest of them. Wait, that's it? Need recon overhead. That's super chalked. Oh, those guys are up in that house. No, 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 no. Lot at factory. And it looks like this. I don't know if this team's stacking up top, but. Resurgence has closed. No more second chances. Oh, they are stacked. Uh, all right, fellas, you can have that. Right, I wish I had like some mines for them, eh? You're losing ground. Move it. Cause this is this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, look at that. Look, listen to it. Come on. One by one, baby. Come on, bro. Wait, redeploy back. What does a redeploy back mean? I don't know what that means. No. Gotcha. Hey, bro, what are you doing? Gas is closing in. So someone just got is getting messed up in there. Enemies dropping into yeah, the AO. What is it? The 
Damn. Is that That's right, I'm here. You got me a little bit. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little plays right there. Plays. It's it's a nice little 35. Like that real smart. Happy about that one. I'm telling you, that Ram 7, it's it's still an absolute beamer. I don't think he got nerfed. 